Hello Libra! Welcome to your weekly reading for December 24th through the 30th. I am using the Arcanum Tarot. As always, this will be a general reading for the week ahead with one card for love. If you want a more detailed love reading, be sure to check out the love reading that's already posted. I will have a link for that video or the videos um, in the description so that you can check that out if you want a more detailed love reading. But let's see what's happening in the week ahead for our Libra friends. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here is your uh, Monday, Tuesday, Libra. I'm forgetting my days some of the week. Um, let's see. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then a card for love, right? Everybody wants to know what's going on with love. There's your love card, Libra. All right. Your Monday, Tuesday, my friends. Ooh, Two of Cups, Libra. Look at that. Um, so Two of Cups is a healthy relationship, okay? Uh, for those of you who are wondering what's gone wrong with someone, like why are they pulling away? Why are they being weird? Why are they not, you know, reaching out by now? Uh, well... Uh, it's gonna be because either they are realizing that you want a healthy relationship and that you are deserving of commitment and stability and love and, you know, just that, that, that healthy give and take type love. Um, and, uh, they're not in a place where they feel like they can give that to you. Like they know that you deserve it, but they feel like they can't give it to you. Uh, for some of you, it's maybe it's the other way around. Maybe like um, you had that. You had somebody who was, who was bringing this energy into your life and things were becoming serious. And maybe for some of you, you closed off or you freaked out or, or, or you pulled back or like you weren't ready for it. Because that happens sometimes too. Like we say we want something. Like, oh, I want somebody who wants to be with me for me. And I want somebody who's like just in this relationship because they, they want to spend time with somebody and they want to have that connection and the chemistry. And then we find somebody that likes us for us. And sometimes it's like, we're like, nope, no, nah, uh -uh. like it just, we, we don't trust it or we get very uncomfortable or we push it away. So for some of you Libras, there could be something like that going on. Okay. So either somebody ran from you um, or somebody, or, or you're keeping somebody at bay. But for those of you who are ready for love, even if you had somebody that ran away, it's still a good thing because your energy is here. For a lot of you Libras, your energy is here in the Two of Cups. And so basically the universe knows that what you're looking for is something long-term, something real, something healthy, and your energy is calling it in. So some of you might be meeting somebody in the early part of the week. Some of you might get invited to something in the early part of the week where maybe it's going to happen a couple of weeks later, but when you show up there, you're meeting somebody. Uh, and for those of you who are in a relationship um, or who are getting to know somebody, early part of the week, there may be some discussion about where things are going and about like the future of the relationship. And it would be a positive discussion at that. Your Wednesday, Thursday, Libra is going to be Seven of Swords. So for those of you who are coming into this new relationship and this healthy relationship, especially for those of you who had somebody who maybe bounced, you know, and you're like, where are they? What happened? Things are going so good. Now that you're moving forward with somebody new and now that you're like in that energy of, okay, I'm ready to settle down, uh, you might have somebody spying on you. Okay, uh, maybe they're they're checking out social media. What's going on? Can I can wh how much of their profile can I see? What's is there is there a new profile pic? Is there somebody in there? 
what's going on with the Instagram photos? Is there does it look like there's a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend? Like they're they're looking. They're looking for what's happening in your life. And because I think subconsciously, since this was such a massive soul connection for a lot of you, this person feels or senses that like your energy is really moving on and they're trying to figure out what is happening. For some of you, maybe like, you know, vice versa maybe you're very tempted to um to to go after this person that you felt a connection with um and and see what's going on with them or spying on them it could even be a mutual thing here like you might you both might be like looking at each other like what's going on because uh for a lot of you you're at a crossroads with somebody maybe you've waited for a very long time and now you're ready to move on and you're like but am i really ready to move on so some of you might have this mutual like weird pull to somebody from the past even though i feel like the universe is trying to encourage you to go forward with someone new okay so maybe this is a good time to do some cord cutting maybe this is a good time to do some like releasing meditations or healing or clearing work uh because i think that some of you have really been wanting like a real connection and it, it it's coming in and so my whole philosophy is leave the past in the past right move forward with the new but you might need a private reading, guys. There's different circumstances that that rule doesn't always apply. You know, I think the majority of the time, it's good to leave the past in the past. And there's always going to be exceptions. And you may be an exception. You may need a personal reading. Uh, but, you know, that's definitely um, what's going on here. And look, ooh, Libra, look. Ooh. So, yeah, some of you you're finally getting ready to move forward into this new relationship and this person from the past is like oh no you don't and they're showing up and they're trying to pull you back in for some of you libras you're that person you're seeing somebody else move on and you're like oh heck no you're not gonna forget about me and some of you are trying to pull somebody back in but the danger here in the situation I and mean, we have the devil card here so this is gonna be about lust this is going to be about manipulation. Uh, this is going to be about strong, you know, sexual desires or physical attraction. So it's like, you know, uh, when you've got two of cups and if you want stability, I would say stay with, with two of cups because th this is chaos. This is chaos. And this is like somebody who um might even use that strong chemistry that strong pull uh to like get away with a lot of things like they might feel like oh well the connection's really strong or the sex is good and so they might feel like they can just go and do whatever they want to do and you're not going to be happy you're not going to be happy in that kind of energy for some of you my friends you you have this two of cups you have this healthy relationship coming in but you're doubting yourself you're feeling very insecure and you're saying oh but they can't like me or they're not gonna like me and and you're putting yourself down and you got to stop doing that you got to get out of that insecurity you got to get out of that self-doubt uh you are deserving of love and you need to remind yourself of this if you weren't ready for this relationship it wouldn't be here now your card for love is page of pentacles so some of you may be dealing with an earth sign maybe a younger earth sign or an earth sign with some more youthful energy or an innocence about them um it could be for some of you um this is someone who is new or not as experienced with the whole um how can i say they're not as experienced with like super serious relationships. Maybe they've dated and they've had partners, uh, but may maybe for some of you, you know, you've been divorced and this is somebody who like hasn't been married or some of you have lived with somebody before and this person's never lived with anybody before. Or maybe some of you have had a really long term relationships and this person really hasn't had as long term as you. But the energy is... Um, serious here like they are looking for stability they are looking for long term but they might feel like they have a lot to learn right so you might need to go easy on them you might need to be patient 
Um, for some of you, there could be some kind of communication that is happening. This person may be is going to communicate their feelings to you in writing or vice versa. Some of you might have someone who's like professing an interest in you in like a, a Christmas card, like an unex or like a like a holiday card or something. Like they might say, Oh, I got you something or um, you know, something like that, but like they're also saying things like, you know, letting you know that you mean a whole lot more to them than you realized. So for some of you, I don't know why, I'm just getting something in writing for some of you. Some of you are receiving something in writing from this person, even if they're not long distance, even if they're not far away. So maybe it's like a card that's coming in with a gift or just like something to wish you a happy holiday or a happy new year. And they may open up and express some things for some of you there. Uh, for some of you, you could have a new job that's coming in and you're, you could have a new love connection coming in from a new job. Uh, but you know, it's different situations for different ones of you. Check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Check out the love videos. Um, that are done and let me know if you need a private reading. I'm also having a special sale for those of you who want a 2019 reading. You just want to know what's coming up in the whole of 2019. Um, and I'm doing those for $40. So reach out to me and let me know, my friends. As always, thank you for watching. Till next week.